Okay, so we've got the piece of uh, book matched uh, Spanish cedar for the back here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get it fitted optimally on the body here. So I'm just going to kind of, uh, you know, kind of get it to where I got um, where the, the back of the body here and the front of the body. I got about an even amount of gap here um, or distance here um, from those points to the edges of the book match. And um, I'm just going to take a quick measurement of it here. So that seems about good and that seems right about there. So it looks like we're at about 7 16 of an inch. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to measure down from the top horn here. And I'm going to measure down to where the, um, where the heel starts here, this line that signifies the heel. And I've got, looks like 2 and 1 8 of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I know that I have uh, about 7 16 of an inch to play with here. So um, just, just to be safe, I'm going to move that down to about two and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to say it's about two and a quarter. So then I need to take that measurement. And I need to measure down from my book match here. Two and a quarter. Okay, so here we are here. So now I'm just going to make a couple of points so I can uh, get a line going here. So just a point. Order. Okay, there we go. Gives us a rough idea anyways. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bandsaw and I'm just going to cut kind of like a groove here. And I'm going to undercut it so that it doesn't quite come to the line here. And then, uh, so this way it'll give me an idea whenever I go to line this up uh, to make sure that we get the seam here. Um, online with the center point of the body uh, it'll give us uh, an easier indication of that so what I can do is I can set it on here um, you know take I can line it up with the center of the uh, of the neck blank here just where it overlaps I've already got that marked um, and then at the back there I can tape that in position and then I can flip it over and then uh, kind of position it to get the back so that it lines up as well and then uh, once I get it to that point, then we'll be able to trace the profile on it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take this sort of the bandsaw and just cut this little area out here so we have something to work with. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got uh, just this area cut out, and that's just to get access so we can see what we're lining this, this side of the uh, book match up. And uh, you'll notice that I've put uh, a piece of double stick tape here, just two points on the front and back of the body. I'm just going to peel those off. Uh, Peel off the back there. And now what we want to do is we just want to guesstimate them uh, as we're lining this up this way. We just want to make sure that uh, the horn is covered and this back area of the uh, instrument is covered as well. But the main thing we're trying to do here is we're trying to line up the seam with uh, the center point that I've marked here on my neck. And it's, yeah. So it's, uh, we want to make sure that that's lined up first and foremost, and that's pretty much uh, the only thing that we're worried about right now. So we'll just go ahead and kind of, you know, get it to where we want it, which is right about, looks like that heel is looking good. Okay. Okay, you want to make sure that the horn is covered here, that we're covered at the back. We're good. And that get it lined up centered and just push the front area down here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the instrument around and uh, try to make sure that it's okay. So now that we got it spun around we need to mark where our seam is here just darken it up so we can see it and we want to pick the back side of the instrument up and just line it up centered to there and that's looking pretty good okay and now we're going to push that down just triple check here yeah that looks good so we'll push that down now we just want to double check our front one here make sure it didn't move as we uh, shifted the back here flip it around double check we're looking good 
Now it's just a matter of uh, tracing the pattern. And of course when we cut this on the bandsaw, we'll be cutting outside this line. But this is going to be our final line that we're going to be cutting or uh, sanding to. So you want to make sure it's pretty good. Okay. Now we can go ahead and peel this sucker off. We got everything covered here. Yeah, I just want to get a little bit darker around there. I like to have these uh, lines nice and dark because once you get working with the piece after a while, sometimes they tend to smudge off a little bit. And... Okay. Here we go. That's got our pattern here so what we're going to do is we'll peel this tape off of here and off of the body and then we will uh, take this over to the bandsaw and cut out the shape okay so now that we've got our shape uh, traced out here um, one thing we need to do before we go ahead and cut it out is um, we're going to be cutting the actual cover plates for the uh, tremolo spring cavity as well as the electronics cavity. We're going to be cutting them out of this actual piece and uh, so we're going to be scrolling around here and using the piece of um, scrap so to speak as um, the actual cover plate. So um, because this is going to be complete, needs to be completely square to um, our seam here, um, I already know that whenever I milled these pieces that um, these pieces are exactly square with one another so I know that these edges are square with this line or parallel, exactly parallel with this line of the uh, of the book match here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these edges and uh, a square to lay out my plate here. Um, I'll be able to do that with this one. I won't be able to do it with the electro uh, with the electronics cavity. It's, that'll be down here, by the way. Uh, I won't be able to do it with the electronics cavity because it's not a square shape. So um, Hence, I can't use square sides to lay it out. We got a different method we're going to use for that, and we'll get to that after we get this taken care of. But uh, so, what we need to do is you can see on the back of the body here, um, you can see I've laid out my plate um, just freehand around where I think I would need enough space around the uh, tremolo cavity here. Um, and taking in consideration that I need to put screws in here, probably six screws. So I made sure I had, you know, enough room to do that and made it uh, according to that size. So now what I need to do is just take a measurement here from the back edge. And I've got two and three eighths. So set that aside. And I'm just going to mark down from this edge here that I've got marked on here the shape of the body 2 and 3 eighths okay. there we go and I'm going to grab a square I'm going to draw a line across there I'm going to draw just a little bit bigger than it needs to be just to make sure that uh, whenever I draw these other lines that they intersect oh, I got my good framing square in the house but uh, I got this rusty old bugger I can use. So this thing's been through a war or two, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm just gonna line this up on our line here. Make sure it's nice and square. Get it on our line. I'm just gonna draw a line here. Okay. So we want to measure down from our center line here. We've got two and one eighth. So Measure down, two and one eighth. Make sure it's right on the seam there, two and one eighth. And then we're going to measure up. And we've got inch and seven eighths. So now we're going to measure up from the seam. Inch and seven eighths. Okay, so we got a reference point. And we're just gonna check the width to make sure here. Four inches. And we've got four inches. Good, good. Okay, so now, I just wanna make sure that this edge is indeed square. I'm sure that it was. Yeah, that's nice and square. Okay, so we can just take our lines off of here. And 
what we want to do is we want to measure down and just see how far we got to go here. I got five and three quarters. So I'm going to measure down five and three quarters, which is right here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. We're going to need to do that anyways. Five and three quarters. Okay. And I just want to run a line here. Make sure we're nice and square to the edge. A line there. Flip our square over here for this side. Make sure we get in contact with as much of the edge as possible. And squaring things up here. There we go. And then we can just finish this off here. Just like so. And we're looking pretty good right there. Okay, so now that we've got that laid out here, just erase some of those lines and we don't need them. Uh, now that we got this laid out, we can go ahead and we can cut out the shape um, because it's going to be easier to cut this out on the uh, on the scroll saw if uh, you know we got the less material you got to try and feed through there the better so we're going to go ahead and cut out the profile here um, now that we've got that laid out and then um, we'll work on laying out the um, the plate for the electronics okay so here we are over here at the bandsaw and uh, we got our body profile and uh, let's get cutting Okay, so there it is, our basic cutout here. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go grab a couple of uh, materials and stuff and I'm going to show you what we're going to do in order to lay out this um, electronics cavity, or this uh, cavity uh, plate so that it uh, lines up with our, our actual cavity. So I'll go grab a couple tools and uh, we'll head over to the assembly table. <laughs> 